Hello, this is Bruno Pelletier Backer. There is one last thing I was hoping to discuss in relation to summertime, and that is the idea of playing, um, improvising, I shouldn't really say, but you know, improvising this constant line of quarter notes, uninterrupted flow of nothing but quarter notes. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll demonstrate it and you'll see what I'm talking about and then uh, I'll, I can explain what's going on. So I'm, uh, I'm using the metronome. Again, it's going to be on two and four. And um, maybe a little hair faster than that. And then, um, and, um, and we're still in D minor, right? One, a two, a one, two, three, four. So that's, um, it's not easy to do at first, you know, if you've never done it, obviously, but it's, it's a great, great exercise. It is an exercise, by the way, right? It's not, it's not my idea of a great solo. It's just an exercise. And what is the purpose of that exercise? Well, it's, it's forcing us to anticipate what's coming. In other words, what we don't want to do is wait for a chord and whenever that chord happens, we'll start playing something that will match it and then kind of stop, wait for the next chord to happen, and then play our little thing, and then wait again, wait for the next chord. When we do that, it really means we don't know the changes. You know, we kind of know the changes a little bit, but we don't really have the timing right. And you're noticing I'm not playing with backing tracks. I mean, my only backing track, so to speak, is, is, is the metronome. So. It means that I'm hearing the changes. I know where I'm going. I know what's coming, right? And based on what I'm expecting, I choose to play certain notes, right? So that's that's the whole idea. So again, it's nothing but an exercise, but it's it's a pretty good one. So um, you may double some of the notes. You don't have to play four different notes uh, throughout your measure. You know, it could be. A Some of the notes can be doubled, so it's it's okay. Sometimes we you know we need to stay put before we keep moving on, right? So doubling the notes is okay as long as you have your constant flow, which also means that if you hit a wrong note or let's say a note that you were not expecting or a note that you didn't really mean to play, that's okay. Just keep going. Don't don't stop. The um, don't don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Your your picking hand is relentless. You know, it just will not stop. So that's your constant drive. The next step after that would be to then uh, start thinking in terms of eighth notes. But before we tackle the, the, the constant flow of eighth notes, um, we can simply start by doubling some of our quarter notes every now and then. And just, you know, generating eighth notes in, for that matter. So that means we could go um, uh, one, going one and two or usually it's on four it actually doesn't matter where you play um, you can randomly double some of your notes and then once you start feeling the the, the pulse of those eighth notes um, then try to play different notes uh, So 
so I was still playing a few quarter notes in there, but I was doubling most of my notes and or um, playing different notes, right? And, and the ultimate uh, point then would be playing a flow of uninterrupted eighth notes. Three, four, um, just think of it. One, two, three, four. It's a lot more challenging, and then sometimes you know it nearly happened. As kind of, um, I wasn't quite happy with the position I was in, but you know somehow I'm, you know you keep sliding around and just find a position that that works better. So do it really slowly. tempo so that you can really feel the notes that you want to play and then of course negotiate them um, and gradually you know the, the, the start going a little faster um. okay just uh, just get that going now Instead of, you know, we started with the quarter notes and then we went up to, to the eighth notes. We could have actually gone the other way, meaning playing less notes, which uh, it, it can be a little harder because we have to think uh, of notes that will fit the whole, because we're, uh, if, in other words, I'm trying to tell you that we're going to play now half notes. So it's going to mean two notes per measure. Um, so that would be something like a one, two, three, four. harder actually even though technically it seems easier but it's a little harder because like I said you know you have to somehow imagine a note that was that's going to work for the whole measure and somehow that's going to move into the next chord and so forth you know when you have eighth notes you can you can squeeze in a bunch of chromaticisms and notes that don't really fit but just because it moves so fast everything is, is turning out fine so um, so that's the idea, you know. So start with quarter notes, and then inch your way into the um, the eighth notes gradually. Or also, you can try uh, you can try the the half notes. All right. So that's gonna be that's gonna be that. Um, if you have any any questions or you know concerns or you know if you if you have a hard time doing this and if you need any additional information, feel free to contact me. All right. Take care. Bye.